Welcome to Twisted Metal Customs. The update of the spray booth, 98% done, but we're gonna just go around now and just show you quickly how it works and what we've done. So this is the door, how we open it up. It's a trifold door, three doors welded with hinges, opposing hinges. And when I'm not using the spray booth, I can open it up, push the cars in straight along the side with the wheel dollies or a tray or whatever on the rotisserie. And it, I utilize it as a fourth bay when I'm not using it for a spray booth. Okay, this is inside the booth. We have eight LED four foot lights. I've welded in some hangers to the joist, the steel joist there. So this is mainly for the painting tray. So I can reverse the trailer in, hook these up to the tray, winch it off the trailer, drive out. Rotisserie comes underneath, it's specially designed to hold trays now. So I can lower the tray on the rotisserie and then that gives me freedom to wheel it around, spin it upside down, paint it upside down. These are welded onto the um, joists as well and I'll get just another one by one inch steel. I run rails across this way to have two sets of hangers where I can again hang doors, bonnets, whatever. So this is on the outside, really. We've got the roller door and then we'll have that inner door that opens up like a, a barn door for when I put the car in, I'll just show you. So this here, well, when we finish the car or, or object and we need to bring it out. We have two sets of fans here. I want to maintain positive pressure on the booth to avoid dust getting sucked in, obviously, so I can force air in, out through the extraction filters and then out into the environment safely. So this is the extraction setup. We have an extraction box. It goes into a set of louvers, which we'll show shortly. So this is gonna be the extraction fan, two filters. It's gonna come in from the other side. We've got two motors pushing air in for throughput through filters gonna come down from the top and side draft across the work and then suck out here, hopefully, so. Okay guys, this is a bonus segment for you. Just doing a quick update on the VJ charger as well. So we have it stripped down basically to everything where we need off so we can get it media blasted. The next step is obviously get it blasted, get it back, epoxy primer, and then start on paint and panel and rust repairs. We're going to start rebuilding this one. So in the future videos, you'll probably start seeing, you know, in-depth videos on this charger. Yeah, so look forward to seeing this a lot more on the channel.